Hey everybody, Massive Breaker here. Hey everybody, Massive Breaker here, and welcome back to a Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord episode. Today I'm going to be showing you five things that you may not know in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And let's get just right into it. You see, the one thing that bothers me about uh, Bannerlord is how you don't spawn in the town or castle with a uh, mount. You have to go out of your way to find one. But um, to find one, it's not very simple. You usually just have to go to the right where your horse stable is. So yeah, and I found a horse, and now I'm just going to get on it, and you can mount it. So now for easier travel if you have quests to do in here, and that's it. Now on to number two. This one I'm going to be showing in a tournament, because I actually have two to show inside of a tournament, so I'll show you this one right now. Uh, first one is shield bashing, and to shield bash you just have to hold down your shield, click E, and you bash them. Now on to number three. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is actually about javelins. So you may think javelins are useless because you just like throw them and they do a lot of damage, but you only have five of them. But one thing that you can do is press X and you convert them to a melee, which can which counts as a polearm. And it is actually quite strong if you only have one javelin left and you want to hold on to it for quite longer. See? 148 damage for charging. It's pretty good. Well, into peasants, but still. It's pretty good. Now on uh, now on to number two. This next tip I'm showing you is how to control your troops in battle. This is very essential for new players because they might they might be like, hey, I want to control my troops, but I don't know how to. I keep dying and going on my own. So what you do is press backspace, and you have these different uh, commands to show, and you can change the formation of your guys and like into a shield wall and you can change them into a circle well you have to spe specifically choose an individual thing and choose a circle so now to direct the the most important thing is how you can press control and the numbers and then you can press f1 and charge so it's a very simple way to control your troops without like memorizing each and every one of the uh without memorizing each and every one of the buttons and their functions you can just press backspace and you see everything like you can tell the, the the horses to dismount too see and now they're about to dismount and then you can help tell them to mount so and now on to lucky number one this final part is essential for all new players if they want to get renowned very quickly and they just don't know how to. I have another video on how in showing you how to get renowned, but if you if you already have like a considerable amount of companions and you've a free one and you don't know what to do with them and you're at war with someone, all you have to do is press L, parties, create a new party, and Luvina not and just choose one of your free companions and then they have their own party. So what they're going to do is go on and gather troops and start fighting people that you're at war with or start fighting bands of like robbers and stuff, and they're going to win. And they're going to get easy, quick renown for you. This is on my other account, uh, so I only have to clan tier 3, but they gain a lot more renown as, at a consistent pace than you probably will. So that is it for five tips on how to get started in Mountain Blade Bannerlord, uh, so that is it. Five tips on how to get started in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I hope you all enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next episode.